Hey everybody, welcome to Castle Hives, Northeast Ohio Beekeeping. You're probably wondering, October 24th, it's 70 like three degrees. What is this guy gonna talk about related to beekeeping October 24th in Ohio? Well, so what I'm gonna do, two things in this video. Now I'm gonna check the buckets. I got bucket feeders on these and then I've got you know, top feeders on the Apamaze and the Poly. So I'm gonna check the buckets and see how those look. But I'm also gonna talk about what I'm going to do for the winter, how I'm going to increase the odds that each of these colonies survive the winter. So you gotta watch the video about halfway through to get to that. So let's start checking some of these pails and check the top feeders on those Apamaze. I'm really curious. Uh, we've got warm weather. There's absolutely nothing out there for them to forage on. So I wanna make sure that they have the two to one with the Hive Alive supplement in it so that these colonies build up weight. So let's start going down and checking some buckets. All right, checking this one here. Well, there's still a little bit of weight in there. So that's good. Um, let's just keep going down the line. And all I'm gonna do with these is just tip them. Oh yeah, there's still a little bit in that also. So just checking them, there's a couple that I'm gonna add a little bit too. So let me go through there and I'll update on what I found. So I've got a five gallon bucket of two to one. Um, let me go through and see if they've taken five gallons in literally a matter of a couple days. So let's see. All right, let's see. Well, so, so overall what I found, there was a colony in the back that took practically the whole bucket. But overall what I saw is each of the colonies, they took it down about halfway. So that's good. Um, they're on that when I would pop it and look, they're on the syrup. So they're taking it, that's good. If it's a slow trickle and they can take this bucket plus some, that's good. Um, couple of the others, like the poly one, they wiped it out. So I put probably another gallon and a half in there, um, but they're all doing good. Now, what I wanna talk about next is what I am going to do for the winter. Now, we're getting into a time of the year where our temps, we kind of in our, we're kind of in our second like Indian summer right now. We have temps in the 70s in, in the ending of October. It's really hard on the bees because if I did not have this feed on, like I can see some bees around the edges there, um, they're wanting anything that's out there. If I didn't have this on there, they would be annihilating the stores that they have in these deeps. And I don't want that. Now my plan for after uh, I remove these feeders, and I'm going to do that once our temperatures dip below freezing, then the feeders are gonna come off. And then what I'm gonna, going to do is I have insulated inner covers that will go on with a shim on the top of this. And on this insulated inner cover, what I have found, these worked exceptionally well for me last year. In the insulated inners, there's a center area here that's open and I can put my Hive Alive fondant right over that. And they're also on these insulated inners, you have an upper entrance. So these worked exceptionally well in that what they really they did was they held that heat pocket. Now, last year was the first year that I went away from wrapping my colonies. With the number of colonies I have now, it just, it would have been too much time. It's too difficult. Thanks to Fred Dunn, um, I was up at his place, spoke to him and he, he turned me on to these. Um, and he's even further north than what I am. They worked very well for him, so I thought, let's try them. I put them on, they worked out. So this is my plan. I'm not wrapping, and I'm gonna go to these insulated inners on all of my colonies, set aside from the Apamaze and the Poly ones, they're all gonna get this. 
makes it easy. I mean, then I can pop the lid. I can look at the fondant that's on here. Um, very easy to manage throughout those colder months. So um, I right now, with the number of colonies even that I have, I'm looking for ease. I don't want to go down a road where it's gonna add hours of time each week. I just don't want that. I want everything efficient and I want, like I said before, everything standard. So I'm going to be adding these insulated inners. They'll probably go on um, the way our temps are looking, probably in another two weeks or so. So, and at that point then, um, I'll see how they're looking as far as weight. Um, I also have yet to pull my Apivar strips out. So once I take those, if our temps are high enough, I might do a couple washes just to see where my counts are. And then I can maybe do an OA treatment, but that's more or less where I'm sitting at. Um, these things here, I'll throw some links up for these. Um, I know Bohemia B sells these. Um, Jason has, I think he's got 20 some of these right now, but I'm buying some of those. So he doesn't have all those cause I'm gonna buy some of them. But uh, you know, if you look these up, they work really well. So, um, and I'm not compensated anything for these. I just like to talk about products that I have used in my apiary and that they have worked here at Castle Hive. So everybody, I appreciate you watching and until the next one.